In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus MgSO4. This is barium hydroxide plus magnesium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. If I look up here, I see that I have barium, barium, I have hydroxide, I have two of them, but I have two hydroxides here, magnesium, magnesium, and sulfate, and sulfate. This equation, it's already balanced. Now we can write the states for each substance. That looks like this. So many hydroxides are insoluble, but barium hydroxide, this is considered a strong base. So this is gonna be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general, they're soluble. So the magnesium sulfate is aqueous with the exception of a few things. And barium sulfate, that's one of the exceptions. These two react, we get a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Interestingly, magnesium hydroxide, it's another hydroxide here, that's also insoluble. So it'll be a solid, fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid, as a precipitate. But let's look at these on a solubility chart just to make sure. So we go down, we find barium, and then we're looking for the sulfate. That's way over here. So we'll go across an I, this insoluble for barium sulfate. That means it's not going to be soluble. It's not going to dissolve. It'll fall to the bottom as a precipitate magnesium and we're looking at magnesium hydroxide so we'll go over and then down again insoluble so both of these substances are insoluble so we have two precipitates when this reaction happens and that doesn't occur very often kind of nice let's go back to our equation so now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation and we don't split apart solids so these two solids here they'll stay together in our net ionic equation That'll look like this. So at this point, we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides, but everything is unique. We don't have anything that is the same in reactants up here and products. So this is both the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equation. And note again, we didn't split these solids apart in the net ionic equation, only the strong electrolytes, the ones with aqueous after it here. So this is the complete and net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus MgSO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.